All right. Time for the next installment of the Beginner's Guide series. Today, I will be playing some Trundle here. Trundle got some buffs this patch. With the buffs, I mean, he got two seconds off his W. I guess it's still buffs. And a band speed increase, I guess. We can't forget about that one. Uh, but yeah, two seconds of W is actually quite nice because it's a big part of like being able to fight on Trundle. So if that's up a bit faster, it's actually quite big. Might not look like much and it's not that much, obviously, but it's definitely not bad either. Like two seconds can matter quite a lot. So yeah. Running lethal tempo here, rolling with like a bunch of attack speed. We're just going to go for like a more of a eh, like damage over like damage over time type build. Against the Vi, which current meta meta build for Vi, I don't know why people do it, but whatever, is the uh, Radiant Virtue. It's just a pure engage, like full tank type Vi, which just makes facing it as Trundle like 50 times easier. So there's that. Because so you just press ult on that champion and, well, yeah, you know, you know you're know, you winning. So that's quite nice. Like that. At least wasn't amazing because my Swain was AFK under turret, so I'm just going to live with that one. Um, also, for the Beginner's Guide series, there is a playlist in the description that you can check out. This will have all of the champions in it uh, that you will, will be looking for, might be looking for. The champion is not there yet. It uh, most likely will be in the future. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe. Now here, initially, uh, we're gonna full clear. Like, Trundle has options to gank early, to put pressure early, definitely. However, in like low mid low elos there is a very low chance that early ganks actually pay out well because the consistency of your laners punishing for like early plays made is very low that generally they throw or they make a mistake or anything of that nature and at that point it's just better to have done a full clear to have the consistency to make sure that you don't fall behind yourself because at that point it would be hard to come back from it but that's why I recommend the full clear. And on Trundle, you have to make sure you use your pet to the maximum potential. So you want to spread out your damage as much as you possibly can, basically. Use your W for just extra attack speed on the camp. And then Q is an auto attack reset as well. Q also steals attack damage. So ideally, don't pick Trundle into like AP opponents for jungle. Because it makes your 1v1 quite tricky, honestly. Compared to when you're facing just an AD champion, because then you steal their AD and you're gonna have a colossal advantage, obviously. But against AP champ stealing their AD doesn't really matter that much. As you can see, I'm getting this full clear done basically before the scuttle spawns, so it's not an issue whatsoever. Just gonna do the scuttle here as well. I'm not gonna use my W now, because I'm just gonna wait and see if Vi actually goes for a fight. Smite this. Just gonna fight this. We see the fight going on on mid lane as well, but why doesn't beat me in a 1v1? Uh, she flashed away. Katarina's 1 HP. I might be able to pick up the Katarina here potentially if I'm lucky. Oh, the minion block is unreal. Okay, that's very sad. That minion block is depressing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I almost auto attacked her there, but you know. If I even went back in, that's pretty crazy. She didn't send a chance at a 1v1 against me. I, my flat just kind of lost the 1v1 by himself, unfortunately, though. She just warded River, I believe. Pets, don't troll me, stupid... Ah, I hate this new thing sometimes, man. That should have been a, just a finish-off hit. Now I don't get the bot gank, which I had very good positioning for. Stupid pet, man. I swear to God, sometimes. Yeah, cool. I, I just got colossally scammed. That pet, like, you saw that hit, pet hit and it just missed the minion. Uh, I, I really hate how, how inconsistent that thing is compared to, like, the old burn damage. The old burn damage was just very consistent and this thing just misses. Very, very frustrating sometimes, especially in situations like that. I want to look for a potential bolt gank here if I can. They, I know they have a ward in river. They don't have a ward in try. That's very unlikely. So if, we can, if they can just take and engage enough times that the swain would walk up put a pillar there it should be perfect there we go the initial kill for a gank on trundle is huge i always recommend trying to take it the reason for this is because the 
uh, Tiamat gives Trundle all of his consistency in his clear. Like this thing, if you can back for it first time, that is the biggest thing. And ideally boots there as well, but I recommend always trying to take the first kill because of this item. Because it gives Trundle his entire clear speed. Okay, that's a pretty good dragon opportunity, honestly. Fair enough. But yeah, that's why uh, I would definitely just do that. One of those champions, like if, as long as you're a champ that like really makes good use of like TMS for clear speed or really kind of needs it. At that point, just taking the first kill every single time for any type of gank you do is highly recommended. Just makes that early game setup much better, which then transitions into overall more tempo. Uh, now, Trundle's overall kit, I mean, uh, Q steals attack damage, also slows, is an auto attack reset, so be sure to use it as one. I mean, might have to uh, pay attention here a bit. This guy is, this guy is drunk? He actually took that risk, really. Let's push this out. Make sure to zone the Caitlyn a bit. Here, don't do this, man. Wait for her to go in first. This Caitlyn just went for it. No, you are joking! And exhaust! Okay, I'm dead. Please tell me she dies. Thank you. Holy moly, what was that? Fair enough. I got that got a little close there. The good thing there was I was level six. Uh, so I was instantly able to like ult Vi. Get the resistances off her. Easy cleanup kill. Oh, please don't tell me this is a death. Yeah, that's just a jump. A lot of other champions would have just died there, but Katarina is Katarina, so... We're just gonna push this in so Vladimir actually presses recall. That would be wonderful. Hopefully. Definitely needs to spend his money. We have 4 out of 4 KP here. This is huge. This guy needs to be very careful. That could definitely be a uh, opportunity for a Vi gank. I think this Vi is the type of player that would definitely go for this Rift Herald. Because she also went for that Dragon really early, which admittedly was a very nice move. So I really couldn't stop it after the bot lane play and stuff, and I kind of want to back and as such, you know. Oh, she is bot lane. I hope they don't die. You can get towards me, that'd be good. No, nope. hold up. Red buff slow. Very good. I could probably walk up to this. Maybe, probably not actually. Just have everything on the cooldown. If I had like my pillar or something. I was trying to like block the Vi. I kind of put it in front of her, which was not too good. I should have put it on top of her. Uh, but I thought she was a little bit faster with her movement speed there. So that's why I placed it there. But I guess I should have just placed it on top of her because that would have canceled her Q, which would have 100% been fine for my Swain. But I mean, he got to walk out of it, I suppose. So it's not too bad. This, this. Perfect. We're just holding on to Tiamat uh, initially, just purely for clear speed, for like consistent clears. The higher elo you go, I guess the less it's necessary, I suppose, to go for the Tiamat. Because there is more like trust slash reliability for your laners. So you can put a bit more pressure for the ganks and have a little bit less consistency on your clear to be able to like win games. However, if you're like low mid elo, like we're talking anywhere up to diamond, to be honest. Um, you kind of just want the Tiamat for the consistent clear speed, for the consistency of just being able to get yourself experience, get yourself farm levels, so you don't have to trust in your laners as much. Obviously, you still kind of have to sometimes, but it is not as bad, you know? I mean, I'm sure people understand, like there will be problems. I'm gonna walk top here because this guy's pushing in. And there might be a Vi gank in this angle here. There she is. Don't know if she saw me or not, to be honest. There she goes. What, what is this guy doing? You, okay, she knew. That is probably my death. Yep, that's definitely my death. How, how did she... I had a sweeping trinket and everything. She just knew I was still in there? Maybe... Wait a second. I know what happened. Yep. Okay. That's not good. 
That is very stupid on my end, actually. She definitely saw me when I walked in. Like, she was in the bush when I walked up initially. So she walked away. But what the problem was here is uh, she had her sweeping trinket on. So she saw me in that thing. And even though I wasn't on a ward, uh, she had the sweeping trinket spotting me in that situation. And I didn't notice it. I don't know if, the, if Vladimir can uh, do this, maybe. Hello, perhaps, please. I don't know if we make this here, to be honest. I hope I do. This should be very free for him. Just smite that for the assist. Okay. I mean, it's at least one kill. I'll get the dragon in a second here. I'm just going to quickly pick this up. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, 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 the death I have is a silly mistake on my end. I should have respect. I should have realized that this was like very obvious because she wasn't walking into the bush. She was just kind of stepping back and forth. Uh, so I kind of had to realize that a little faster there and realize that she actually had vision over me due to sweeping trinket. Help, please. another kill on mid there is not a chance now that the enemy team takes this dragon from me i have to make sure i get this dragon here like i can't give this to Vi. you are drunk buddy go for it see what happens i trundle ult steals so much resistances that it just makes your life super easy when it comes to like killing somebody there Really not an issue. Oh, uh, Flet's backing. Okay, fine. Yeah, we just have to leave. Flet's, Flet's, like, recalling here. We could have, like, done this. Definitely Swain was playing fine. But the Flet left. Oh, am I dead? I am dead. Yeah, Flesh. Oh, man. I don't know. He had, like, full HP as well. Like, I don't... Ah, uh, okay. I guess I went too deep. I don't know. I just had a pillar cut off potential and then Swain could come in. I probably should have just taken the portal and left that way, actually. I don't know why he recalled. Like, he had practically full HP. He def we definitely could have just double killed him here, I think, if he would have just played the game with us. Yeah, yeah. Kind of sucks. Was I worth a shutdown there? I wasn't. Okay, so it's not too bad then. It's, all it's fine. Uh, Flat's doing quite well. She's gonna use Herald on bot lane here. I'm gonna take my time here to do this camp real quick, so I hit level 9. I'm just putting enough pressure here that they don't just kill the turret or do a bunch of damage to get a bunch of platings. There's no real re like real way for me to fight that because I have no way in. My cooldowns are too long there with my ult and stuff. So it's just not going to be ideal. My Vlad's quite fed. Uh, I'm a little bit sad about my second death. I mean, I guess the first death is just stupid on my end. But the second death, I'm pretty sure we could have just fought if the Vlad stayed. That's okay. Keep consistent. Make, sh make use of the Tiamat here, as you can see. Just get the clear done. Very consistent on this one. Keep getting the experience. Like 30 CS up on Vi. I'm like almost two levels up on her as well. This is pretty good. I also try to remember to like look at your Sunderer for Sheen procs. Get as much, as much use out of that as possible. Top Scuttle should be here, which means Vi is probably going for it. I'm going to skip out on my Grom for a bit. Just check that out. Flat's going for it. Why is nowhere to be seen yet? That should be fine. I mean, I've given Vlad quite a substantial amount of... Uh... Ah, the flash. Respect it. That's fine. It's a GP flash down. Not a bad, not a bad trade at all, honestly. Vlad's dead. Oh, uh, that's a big shutdown for Vi. That's less ideal. I mean, we could just do this if he wants to. This time you don't have flesh, buddy. You're just dead. 
Yeah, probably didn't have to ult him, but my ult cooldown's not that bad, so I don't mind it too much. Max your W second because it gives a colossal amount of attack speed increase and move speed increase per level, so it's very huge. No red buff here, that's fine. On the recall. Against the team, I'm definitely gonna go for a nice pair of steel caps. That's definitely a lost fight on Botlin, I think. Okay, steel caps, and then we're gonna build the Titanic out next. And I upgrade the uh, TM at into that. Keep clearing for now. That enemy Vi is getting a little fed, I would say, but the good thing is um, she's building. She's gonna go for the tanky build with uh, with uh, Radiant Virtue, so that's gonna be quite bad into a Trundle because I could just press ult on her and she's kind of doomed. So that's kind of good for me, you know. I need this dragon in like 50 seconds. My bot lane should respawn in time. Walk in here. Yeah, that was not a very smart move. I knew Vi didn't have a flash available, so I, I th at least I think she didn't have a flash available, so I could just go for that. I would love to walk up to this, but my bot lane is a little far behind on that one. I don't really want to go too aggressive. Let's do this. Maybe I can... Nope, I didn't reach him. Let's do dragon. I just want to do dragon. I was trying to, like, aim a pillar there to see if I can cut off the Nami or something, but... Oh, no, she's... Uh, she should be fine. I'm just doing dragon. Get the objectives. Yeah, but the Vide basically does no damage to me. I bite her once. She loses so much damage output on me due to me stealing her attack damage as well. And as her being tanky. I can just put a pillar behind and a lethal tempo kicks in alongside the W speed up increase thing. Oh no. Like that. Make sure I get this. Why oh, should be dead here? She tried to go for the dragon there. I mean, it's an attempt at a steal, I guess, suppose, you know. Ah, her blue's respawning. I should probably take that. Her gromp is probably up as well, I would imagine, because of the, uh, the way she pathed. She didn't clear this recently, you know. Um, just make sure to keep this cleared. We're looking pretty good. Using my W there as well for like a Sheen proc. Oh, Swain wanted that one. I suppose that's fine. I don't really need. I don't really need a blue buff on Trundle. It's fine if he wants to take it. It's not a problem. I have to realize here that the Rift Herald's gonna respawn or despawn. Sorry, at 19:55, like a hard despawn. So I really want to take the Rift Herald. Clear the mid wave real quick. I do have my. I'm, I'm running, buddy. I'm running. Split them up a bit. Oh, yeah, we go for GP first, I suppose. Fine. And then we just hammer this guy down as well. Very good. Slow him. I'm just going to keep hitting him the entire time here. Smite him with a Q kill there. G, her W is going to be on cool... Or her jump, sorry, is going to be on cooldown for at least like two seconds at this stage in the game, I believe. When she jumps once, so I just flash auto Q her. Make sure to auto queue for the auto attack reset as well. Perfect. Oh, she didn't take my red buff. I was a little worried there for a second and I just lost my red buff, but I didn't. That's good. I need some armor and... Crits. Crit, crit, crit. Reduction. We are going for Randuins. Uh, we see, well, the reason I see this is Caitlyn goes crits, GP is a crit champion, so that's two crit champions already. Instantly worth the random ones. Could go Frozen Heart as well, potentially, but they don't have that much attack speed based stuff. Not that much, really. Uh, so the crit reduction is just great here. But tank items are just going to be purely based on what's good against the enemy team. So if, like, they have, like... Consistent magic damage, you go Force of Nature. You can go Spirit Visage, which is an amazing item on Trundle as well, which is probably going to be my magic resist item. The reason it's an amazing item on Trundle is because it increases all the healing, and Trundle has an, an insane amount of healing in his kit. 
due to his passive and his ultimate. So definitely like, you know. Come. This is just a free Baron opportunity. Yo, Samira, Samira, please. Could you uh, land me a hand here, buddy? Hello, can I get some assistance on Baron, perhaps? Team. What am I looking at, man? Why are you going top lane? What the heck? I mean, I can tank this for a while, but my guy, please. A Baron's a free Baron, you know? Okay, well, I guess I get it anyway, but just like, my god. Okay, well, cool. That's fine. Walk up here. Uh, just walk straight at them. With the W, I'm just going to use the movement speed increase. Put a pillar between them. Use this on Vi. Make her a bunch. A lot more squishy. Woo! Katarina with a big reset. Okay, fair play. I kind of want to use the Herald to break the base turret up. I don't have it that long. Ah, you... you... Annoyance. Let me just put the Herald down, please. Thank you. Uh, Tron, he might actually already get this. Uh, Herald might be a waste now. I need to play a little bit careful here. I think I may have wasted my Herald slightly. That was a lot more damage. I, I forgot about Sion's ridiculous turret damage. That's kind of my bad. Yeah. Okay, it's whatever. <laughs> it's it's kind of my bad. I probably shouldn't have heralded that one. Like, just breaking this turret was, like, the ideal thing I was looking for. But uh, in hindsight, I probably didn't have to do that due to just the ridiculous amount of turret damage Sion does with Demolish and stuff. He also has Hull Breaker, I suppose. But, you know, it's okay. It happens. Got my random ones here, which is beautiful. And then we're just gonna go Spirit Visits next as our magic resist item. It's gonna deal like well enough for the Katarina for it to be fine. It's behind the fire, which is ult her again because she is worth the most stats. Right, perfect. I'm gonna do the dragon. I've let's kind of strong as well. Alright. Make sure to keep on top of the objectives. Even though, like, like I'm winning right here. Like, I could maybe, like, look for a push. But the waves aren't really great for that. Uh, Dragon's just the move here. The enemy jungler is dead. There's no way they can steal it. I mean, I guess the GP ult could steal this. But that would be quite depressing, actually, if you got it with that. And right now as well, I'm making sure to play aggressive into her jungle. We're not going to care about any of our own camps, barring maybe red buff. That, would, that one would be kind of nice still. Make sure the auto attack reset. Good. Make sure to look your sheen procs there as well for damage. Well, let's see if I can get a nice position maybe. Just gonna hit him with the slow. Nope, he's too fast. That barrel slow was quite massive, actually. Good. Okay. Make sure to hit that for the assists as well. Nice. That's quite strong. That's quite good. Thion's tanking turret here, so we're just gonna help him out. Finish off the turret. Level 16 here. That's very solid. Clear out the wave, let this push out. Make sure to use Sheen procs on third here as well. That's when you want to queue basically for Sheen procs. And yeah, finish off the build here. I'd get a Spirit Visage and I would probably get a Stone Plate as well. And uh, yeah, well, that's it for Trundle. And I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing... 20.3k damage, which is a very respectable amount. Um, I'm not very surprised that Vlad outdamaged me. Vlad's an insanely strong teamfight champion with a bunch of AoE damage. 
I don't really have any AoE damage, so my, most of my damage is like single target. I gave him enough of a lead initially, some kills here and there, you know, I'm, I'm not unhappy about this at all. We won the early game, Vlad kind of took off with the game, with, like, with the lead as well as me, obviously, still focusing on objectives and stuff, so not unsurprising that he outdamages me. Vlad ult also gives Vlad like an insane amount of champion damage, if you're wondering. Uh, true damage at 1500, which is basically just smite. Damage to objectives here at 58.7k. This is obviously huge. If I did manage to get the first dragon, I believe, but I was making sure afterwards to try to pick up as much uh, of the objectives as possible. So, yeah. Really, really solid. As a jungler, this should always be the highest stat. If you won the game as a jungler, and this is not by far the highest stat in the game, basically, you are doing something wrong. That's definitely something to look at at your own gameplays. This is a one stat to always check at the end of the game for a jungler. Because this stat will tell you whether your dragon control was good enough, whether your Rift Herald, Baron, uh, turret pushing control, all of that type of stuff was good enough to, uh, well, win the game to pass the roll, if that makes sense. I don't know. So definitely look at this. Uh, we have healing done at 22.9k. Flat the 27, uh, but the fact that as a Trundle we came this close to what is essentially just a completely healing based champion as well as you you can clearly see that Trundle heals a lot, which makes Spirit Visage um, uh, just an amazing item on Trundle. So yeah, definitely would recommend those <laughs> that as well. Damage taken here, uh, 32k, definitely pretty good. Vlad also took quite a bit of damage, just me and Vlad basically this game, but yeah. Cell mitigated 27.7, uh, gold earned at 13.6. I did actually earn more gold than Vladimir. Whew. Would you look at that? We have the runes, lethal tempo, pretty good uptime. As you saw, lethal tempo won me a lot of fights throughout the game. Like, I just, the attack speed, you have an initial attack speed boost with your W. That's max, it gives 110% attack speed. So you just start up with that, and then when lethal tempo kicks in, it just goes absolutely crazy. And you just hammer people down, or club people down, I guess. Um, yeah, Triumph, not too much healing, but the reason for this is obviously is that um, based on missing HP, and I was basically killing everybody with enough sustain at full HP, so Triumph healing is not going to do much. Still gave me 440 gold, which is quite nice. Tenacity here, it's a little bit of tenacity. I don't think they had much CC, but it's better than the attack speed rune or the bloodline rune in this tree. For Trundle, because with your W and Lethal Temple, you have plenty of attack speed, so the Alacrity uh, rune there doesn't really do anything. So might as well pick this up. Uh, you do want to be careful that you don't overstack Tenacity anymore. They nerfed that quite a bit. So we're not going to, like, let's say they are more heavy, heavily focused on, like, CC. Going, like, Tenacity with, like, um, if, you, if it's not a Mercs game, like, if it's, like, an auto-attack based team on the enemy team like physical damage auto attack base but they have a lot of cc type of deal um then going steel caps and you go tenacity and instead of revitalize you can then pick the um the tenacity reduction thing that's to the right of revitalize forgot the name unflinching uh, you can then pick that in rev instead of revitalize but if they don't have too much cc just pick this because it gives a nice amount of bonus healing it's definitely not too bad you can also pick overgrowth i suppose but yeah uh, lost stand Again, I didn't really get too low this game, but in close fights, I'd still rather have Lost Stand as an available rune instead of me having Coup de Gras, for example, because having Lost Stand in close fights, in close games, to get yourself the lead initially is just way better. And then conditioning is for a nice amount of extra resistances. But uh, yeah, that is it for Trundle. If you guys have enjoyed this video, if you did, please make sure to like button below and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.